how to cook and it's easy with the right teacher. This morning I'm joined by Chef Gabby Odebode from Afro Meals, an expert in African and Caribbean cuisine and she's going to make some very good smelling and beautiful looking <laughs> kebabs. I'm not sure if I can do them this well but I'm gonna give it a try and what I love is that you're gonna be using an air fryer. Yes. Which a lot of us have as yes, well. Yes, it's very easy and very quick. Yeah and yeah. especially in the hot weather. Yes. You don't have you to don't fire up. You don't want to turn up the whole oven yeah. to heat up your house. <laughs> yeah, so before we get to the kebabs, tell everybody a little bit about what you do at Afro Meals, because we were chatting in the break, and you yeah. do a little bit of everything. <laughs> yes. You teach, you make seasonings, you per cater. personal chef cater. Yeah. So, so um, basically, Afro Meals, we want to give people the African food experience through our cooking classes, through our catering, and also through our products, like our seasoning, our puff puff mix. So that's what we do. Now, puff puff. I People might not know what that is. Um, I have a friend who's from Nigeria, I was telling you, and he and his mom had me over for dinner one night, and they made puff puff. It, it's like a, an African kind of donut, right? Yes, it's an African donut. Um, is basically fried dough, and then you, sometimes you use it as a, a snack or for breakfast. Sometimes we use it for breakfast to eat stuff like porridge or drink tea with it. Yeah, and yeah. you have a mix, which makes it so yes. easy. So she's got all kinds of great stuff on her website that you can find. Yeah. Um, and then you. You teach classes too, yes. right? Yes, so I teach classes in different parts of Ohio, but we teach our class in Finley's Kitchen, mm -hmm. which is right in front of Finley's Market. Great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we can find all about that at your website, but I want to get on to this wonderful smelling food. So if we want to make an easy kebab this summer uh, and make it African flavored, show us what to do. Yes, yeah, so kebab is pretty much um, enjoyed in different parts of Africa, not just the western part, which is where I'm from, Ghana. Um, so I'm just going to um, show you how to do it. It's basic, basic, quick. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to have all your ingredients. So we're going to do a veggie version, and then we're going to do a meat version. We're okay. using chicken. Um, and then you have your skewer sticks. Make sure you soak it in water, because if you're going to grill it or bake it, you don't want the sticks to burn up. OK. <laughs> I did this recently, and I burned my sticks. <laughs> so maybe I didn't soak them long enough. How long should I soak it? So them? you can soak it about maybe 30 minutes, 30 oh, to 15 minutes okay. prior to, you know, assembling it and grilling it. I didn't do that yes. long enough then. That was my problem. <laughs> All right, so we start with the six. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the um, veggie one. And I am going to use our Afro Mills poultry and meat seasoning. Um, and we're using mushroom. We're using zucchini, red onions, and squash because they give you that meaty taste. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our Afro Mel seasoning. Um, if you're using it at home and you're measuring, you're going to use a teaspoon, okay? Okay. And then you're going to get a pinch of salt. I'm using kosher salt. And then we're going to mix it all up. Just get it right in there. Now, did you put any oil on that? I'm yet? going to, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was <laughs> before or after, okay. You're going to add a little oil, and if you really want the flavor to really get into um, the vegetable, you can marinate it in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag for about two hours, or you can even leave it overnight. And you're going to get an amazing, amazing taste from this um, skewer. Uh, now tell me a little bit about the seasonings that are, go into your uh, specific bottle there. So we have a couple of seasons. This is the poultry and yeah. meat, and we have um, a little bit of cayenne pepper, paprika. Paprika is amazing on meats. And onion powder, garlic powder, all of that mixed in that. And then we have jerk seasoning. If you feel like traveling to Jamaica without the expensive ticket, yeah, there you, go. <laughs> you can just use our jerk seasoning to do that, um, to make you some skewers at home or even make some jerk chicken and stuff like that. So yeah. all right, so pretty easy to get it on the kebab there. Exactly. Whatever, whatever way you want to line it up. Exactly. And then we're going to use the air fryer, which I just love. Yes, I, I don't have a big air fryer like that. I have a smaller one. Yeah. But I could probably do this. Oh yes. As well. Oh okay. yes, definitely. So we only have one minute left, so I want to make sure we get to the chicken one awesome. as well. So awesome. we'll set that one down. Yeah. So now we're going to do the same thing for the chicken. Very good. Add your seasoning. And then you add a pinch of salt. And then you add your oil. Mix it all yeah. up together. Now, get your skewer. Well, we need to cook. We'll probably need to cook the chicken one longer than the yes, veggie one. Yes, so right? for the chicken one, you cook it about f at 400 um, degrees Fahrenheit, and then you're going to cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes, or until, if you have a thermometer, you can um, check for 165 degrees. And for the um, vegetarian, you're going to cook it about 7 to 9 minutes. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, while you're lining that up and we get it in the, the um, air fryer, tell me a little bit more about if I were to come to you and ask for, you know, um, catering, what kinds of meals would you make? Oh, we have so much. We have jollof rice, <laughs> which we actually made a few weeks ago for our client. We have fried rice. We have some stews, tomato stews. We have some puff puff, the one that you yeah. like. <laughs> so we have a, a variety of meals that we can make for you. Okay. And we can find those all on your exactly. Afro Meals website, Exactly. You can too. find on afromills.com. Okay. And then so we just throw this so, in yes. the air fryer. Yes, just open up the air fryer. I love you them. You toss it in. so easy. <laughs> yes. You pop it in, you set the timer and the temperature, and that's about it. Yeah. And then the result right and here. And then this is the result. Am I able to try the vegetarian you one? You can try this? the vegetarian Oh, yeah. I want to try some of the seasoning. Yeah, the Take mushroom me to the, tastes amazing. Oh, the Caribbean right now. <laughs> that's delicious. Oh, I love that seasoning. Yeah, it's really good. And it's not super spicy um, or spicy at all because right. we want everyone to be able to enjoy it. Just that little tiny touch. Exactly. Kind of. Just a hint. Do you have any cooking classes coming up? Yes, actually, we have a lot of them coming up um, on our website. So usually we have um, businesses reach out to us or individuals for family event, private events. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go to our website and sign up or reach out to us at afromills at gmail.com. All right, Chef yeah. Gabby, always making great stuff. You got to try it. It's delicious. So if what, whether it's a cooking class or you need some catering this summer, make sure to check her out. Thank awesome. you, Thank you so, so much. much. Delicious. <laughs>